happen for many of us today. Now, uh, here's a question which we've asked a lot. Uh, disposable coffee cups, why are they so hard to get rid of? Just a tiny proportion, Ben was telling us earlier, are recycled. And he's back to... Talk about a little more detail, Ben. Yeah, morning. and I've got the boss of Costa with me uh, this morning who can explain what they're doing. Uh, yeah, morning to you. Uh, yeah, two and a half billion of these things are what we get through every year. It's about 700 million a day. And the problem is that they aren't just made of paper. Inside, uh, you'll know there is, of course, a layer of plastic. And that's so they don't disintegrate when they're filled with liquid. But you'll know also it makes them much harder to recycle because, quite obviously, you've got to separate that plastic from the paper. So what is the answer? Well, Dominic Paul is with me. He's the managing director of Costa Coffee. Dominic, morning to you. Morning, Ben. Um, it's notoriously difficult, isn't it? We're all used to being able to pick up one of these on the way to work or whatever, but they're really hard to recycle. What are you doing about it? So the first thing we had to do, we had to bust the myth that the cups weren't recyclable. Yep. So we work very closely with some of the key um, paper plants um, to prove that the cups were recyclable. Um, they are. They can be recycled. They are being recycled, but what we've announced today is a game-changing initiative to mean that more cups will then get to those paper mills, which for Costa will mean that hundreds of millions of our cups will, will be recycled over the next few years. It's a pretty ambitious target. I mean, I'm just looking at the announcement. 500 million cups a year by 2020. Um, I mean, you've got about a fifth of the market, so that's, you know... Uh, you know, relative to how many you sell. Uh, how many are you currently recycling? So we currently recycle about 14 million. We were the first nationwide retailer to, to launch cup recycling in-store. Um, that, that number is growing, but we realise we have to do something bigger to get that number so significantly greater. So let me be clear, so you greater. currently recycle 14 million. Yep. And within the next two years, you want to say take that up to 500 million. By the end of 2020, That yeah. is an absolutely staggering increase. Yeah. So, How are you going to do it? So in the next 12 months, we think we can get to 100 million cups to be recycled. Right. So to go from 40 million to 100 million. The real game change of what we've done is we have guaranteed a minimum amount of money for the coffee cups as a waste product. That suddenly means that the key waste management companies are incentivized to collect the cups and take them to the paper mills. Costa is putting that money in. We're putting that money in ourselves. We think it's the right thing to do. By doing that, that changes the way the cups are being collected, which mm. leads to potentially hundreds of millions of cups being recycled. Um, how are you going to collect them? Because the challenge is, by its very nature, if I buy one of these, I take it away from your store. I don't leave it in the store. How are you going to get hold of enough cups to recycle? So, so what we've announced today, by, by guaranteeing a minimum amount of money, so we're paying an extra £70 per tonne, the waste management companies are now incentivised to actually pick those cups. So this will get, what we'll see is more cups being recycled over time. But take this office where we are, for example. Mm -hmm. There'll be a coffee cup recycling place. Mm -hmm. We'll set up more and more of those type of points in offices, hospitals, travel, travel areas. And that's why we think we can get to 100 million over the next 12 months. And then we're also working really closely with local councils to ensure that coffee cups can over time be put into the mixed recycling bin at home, mm. which means that hundreds of millions of cups can be recycled through the home network as well. So it'll take some time, which is why we said the end of 2020, but the game changer is the investment Costa is putting yeah. in to this infrastructure. I don't want to labour the point, but currently recycling 14 million yeah. and you want to get to 500 million. Why are you so confident you can get to 500 million? That is a staggering number when you're currently only on 14 million. Because the, the, the main issue is that the, currently the cups that are going into the system, they're getting thrown away, aren't getting picked. Mm. The reason they aren't getting picked is that the waste collection companies are not incentivised to do that. Mm. By cost investing this money, we're incentivising the waste management companies and it creates a market for recyclable cups. Um, and that's why we think this is a very clever solution and why we think it's the right thing to do. Isn't this about changing customer behaviour, though, as well? Because we've seen, you know, one of your rivals, Pret, will give you 50p off if yeah. you take in a, in a reusable cup. You're not doing that. You've opposed the latte levy, that levy that the government is proposing, um, and you're saying that, actually, we're going to try and change behaviour, but only by knocking off a bit of money. It's about getting customers to change their habits too, isn't it? Is that money not better spent? in reducing the price of your cups? So we already give a 25 pence discount for a customer who comes in and brings a reusable cup. And we've seen that, that number of customers doing that increasing. But actually the real game changer here is, is actually st is, is incre increasing the number of cups being recycled. Mm. That isn't going to be achieved by slightly increasing a discount or 25p to 30p because people are busy. 
people don't people 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 want their coffee in a takeaway cup mm. because people are on the go what we've done here is we've cut through that and by recycling hundreds of millions of cups that's actually a much bigger commitment than for mm. example slightly increasing a discount but the the discount we already put a discount in place customers do bring reusable cups mm. in but the announcement today that we've made is a cup recycling revolution Okay, Dominic, it's really good to talk to you. Uh, good luck with it. Thank you. We're going to keep an eye on how you get on because it's a, a really ambitious target, 500 million by 2020. So come back and let us know how Thank it's you. going. Uh, Dominic Poole there, the Managing Director of Costa. More for me after Can I give him my R cups as well? Yeah, please, send them over. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've got much. enough here to keep me going anyway for a while. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good to hear from you both. Uh, Bill Gates on the way in about 10 minutes' time for you. Well, let's get...